Hey guys, welcome to Boone, North Carolina. Today we are in our vacation rental property owned by myself and my husband, Justin Reed, for the first time since 2019, thanks to the pandemic. But while we are here, I wanted to take you on a tour, talk about vacation rental properties outside of state, why we like that, and why you should probably consider that too. Um, if you're unfamiliar with Boone, let me tell you a little bit about it. It is a sleepy little college town in the mountains of North Carolina, right off of the Blue Ridge Parkway. Uh, App State University is located here. You may have heard of that. Um, Louisville football has ties to Boone because most recently the head coach Rick Satterfield came from um, App State University after a very, very winning career here. So that's why we're here in Boone. Justin went to college at App State University. Love the area, love how small it is, how mountainous. It's a really fun place to visit. So this is our house. Justin is behind the camera. He's gonna take you on a tour. Right now we are in the kitchen and this is kind of pre-remodel. Um, we are thinking about making some upgrades to this property to make it more marketable. Um, some of those here in the kitchen would include just updating the appliances, thinking about if we should paint the cabinets, maybe rip and replace those out. Definitely countertops. Um, as you can see, it feels very mountainous in here, very cabin-like, even though this is a house. It was built in the 90s, um, excellent condition. Um, it has, it holds, it retains heat very well, so very conditioned space. This is one of two fireplaces in the house. It is gas, uh, propane, there's a very propane tank outside. Um, that's filled up twice a year. Uh, guests can enjoy that. The other one you'll see is in the living room. But you see all this wood right here. Oh, so much wood. So although people like that, I feel like I want to do something with this. Probably paint this uh, a little white, modernize it a little bit. Um, I'm open to suggestions, so please let me know what you think. My other suggestion is taking down this wall. I'm going to show you the bird watching room behind here. Uh, it's yellow, um, so definitely needs a paint job at the very least. But thinking about taking this wall down, opening up this whole space right here, this would then be the dining area, move this table into there, uh, put four club chairs right here with a coffee table, nice seating area. Um, so as we go on, we're gonna come down the hall in here and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about with that bird watching room. So here we are. As you can see, it's yellow, big picture window. Justin, go give them a shot out that window so you can see up the back mountain. We are actually surrounded by trees, surrounded by nature. Um, you can look out the window and see any animals or birds up there that you like. Uh, it's actually first day of April, 2020, April Fool's Day, and there is snow in the air. So as you can see, higher elevation here in the mountains, that prolongs the ski season. People are still coming, paying top dollar for skiing here in the mountains. Uh, but also if you're looking for a summer beach getaway, uh, the first of April, Mountains might not be your location. We have a futon in here so that we could sleep additional guests if we want to. It's actually very comfortable. Um, and this great table, oh my God, I love this. This is the root of a teak tree. This came from Red Tree in Louisville. So as we purchase this house, come on, Justin. Um, stackable washer dryer under here. We have a half bath right here in the hallway. And here is our living room. Front door, which nobody uses. Everybody comes in through that kitchen door. Coat closet and beautiful living room. As I was saying, whenever we purchased this house originally, it's been about four years now, um, it was already furnished. So what you're seeing here is a combination of furniture that was already in the house. And then some of the pieces we've purged as we've gone along and made some strategic updates. That leather recliner, I love. That is something that we got on Facebook Marketplace in Louisville and hauled it up here. That's from our house. You can find some great stuff on Facebook Marketplace. Here's the other fireplace I was telling you about, uh, fueled by propane. While these are great, one thing I'm gonna do whenever we make some updates to this is I'm gonna put some timers on here so our guests don't fall asleep with that uh, fire still going because it heats up the house very quickly, but also leaves a little bit of a gas smell. If you're familiar with propane, Heat, you probably know what I'm talking about. Now I'm gonna take you out to the front porch here and show you what we got. The views are great, and you can really see them right now this time of the year with all the leaves being off the trees. 
Once these leaves start to fill in, you won't be able to see as far, but definitely in the fall and winter, you can see for miles. All the mountains in the back, you can see the houses up on the hills. They come down about three levels. It's super cool. It's like being in the, the Hollywood Hills. Uh, but we have this beautiful deck out here, beautifully kind of naturally landscaped yard. We haven't wanted to do a lot to it. We want nature to take over and do what it's going to do. We have these two and three story rhododendrons um, separating us from our neighbors. Don't know what color they are because we haven't actually been here when it's blooming. So um, hopefully that's on my bucket list to actually see my rhododendrons bloom. Another thing that I like is with this natural landscape, there isn't a lot of grass. Justin, show them all the moss that we have, especially here on the side. This is one of the benefits of being in the mountains. So we don't have a lot of landscape uh, or costs associated with that. So um, really enjoy that piece. Not a lot of cost on the yard maintenance. All right, it's freezing today. So we're going to go back inside and head upstairs to show you the bedrooms. All of the bedrooms are on the second floor of the house, as well as the bathrooms. So there are a total of three bedrooms, two and a half baths in this house. It's um, a little bit over 1,500 square feet, but I love the layout. Whenever you come up here to the top, let's see all my lights are off. Um, here is your first full bath. This one is in the hallway. So this is gonna be for the two guest bedrooms to use. There's two nearly identical guest bedrooms and then uh, the primary bedroom and ensuite. So as we come down the hall, here is bedroom number one. It has a green color to it. I really like what we've done with the decor. As Justin steps in there and kind of shows you some of the views from the windows, you can see how we've tried to infuse, you know, some of our own taste, some of Louisville, but also still making this very much like a cabin in Boone, North Carolina. You see the rustic fish over the bed. We actually got that from St. James Art Fair in Louisville. Uh, you see a picture of our cat, Nora, um, brought her up, one of our, our four babies. So as we go into the next bedroom, uh, this one's gonna be our gray theme. And it's a little bit more rustic. I love the draperies here, these blue draperies. Take a look at some of the antlers. Justin's gonna give you a very, very quick tour of this bedroom, because I don't wanna take up too much of your time. Look how beautiful this is. We've painted this one, only about one of four rooms that we've painted. Everything else that you see is pretty much how we purchased the house. Now we're gonna come in here into the master bedroom. This is the bigger one of the house. Uh, the bed used to be on this wall. We moved it over to here. Uh, it accommodates a queen bed. Um, we might be able to get a king if we pull it over here, but we find that that works just right. One of my ideas for the future is to take out these two windows, kind of put in a sliding glass door right here with a Juliet balcony so we can, well, a little bit larger than Juliet, so we can fit two chairs on there to enjoy your morning coffee. This would also be a nice overhang for that door where you're coming in from the kitchen. Currently it's exposed to the elements, so that's kind of like a dual feature there. So right off of the bedroom, you walk into this little landing area, which has a closet, not huge, but great for a vacation rental property. And then into the bathroom in here. So this too has a shower um, and a tub sit combo. One thing that we're gonna be doing though is switching these out, probably putting in tile showers, um, glass doors, something very nice like that. Not a great shot because these are actually a tight squeeze here through the bathroom. But I'm gonna be doing a series of blog posts for you if you've been thinking about getting a house somewhere in a beach destination, mountain destination, something like that. I wanna teach you how you can find properties like this and never pay for a hotel again whenever you travel and get some additional tax write-offs and some income coming into you through another rental property. This was the second house that Justin and I purchased. We knew that we wanted something uh, in the mountains, a destination place, and we love coming here to visit. We love having our friends. In fact, we have uh, four friends arriving this afternoon to enjoy the weekend with us. So keep an eye out for those blog posts. Thank you so much for joining us for this tour. And uh, we have a lot more content coming for you about buying out-of-state vacation rental properties that you and your family can enjoy and also use to make money.